Hi, I'm Scott Ruthven, and I'm an oil painter. I've put together this short video to show how and why I varnish my oil paintings. I get three main benefits from varnishing my work. The first is color saturation. Some oil colors lose their vibrancy when they dry. Varnish saturates those colors, bringing back their original punch. Second is surface uniformity. I like the surface of my paintings to have a nice uniform sheen. When a painting dries, it can have glossy areas and matte areas depending on the oil color and if any painting medium is used. I don't want that to distract my viewer. The final and most important benefit is protection. The layer of varnish actually provides a barrier to dust, smoke, and other airborne contaminants and will help the painting to age better. Personally, I prefer Gamblin's Gamvar Varnish because it won't yellow with age and it's easy to remove with odorless mineral spirits. Materials you will need. Varnish, a soft, clean, synthetic paintbrush, and I suggest you buy a good one of these and only use it for varnishing. Don't buy one of those cheap ones from the hardware store because they just shed all their bristles and you end up picking that out of your varnish. You'll also need a lint-free cloth. I'm using an old t-shirt today. Some mineral spirits using Gamsol. And a couple of containers. One for your varnish and one for your mineral spirits. So first we'll take our varnish, give it a little shake. And you just need a little bit to pour into your container. You don't need a whole lot for the painting. Then I'll take some odorless mineral spirits. Just a little bit of that as well. And I like to start by dipping my brush in mineral spirits. I find this softens up the brush and allows the varnish to flow. I don't want all the mineral spirits in here though, so I will blot most of that out. Then I get a decent amount of varnish into the brush. But I don't want too much of that either, so I'll scrape most of that excess back into the container. Then I'm ready to varnish. So with Gamvar and probably most other varnishes, a thin layer is better. Applying the painting, uh, or applying it to the painting is pretty easily. I just begin in the middle and work my way out. If you notice areas that aren't taking the varnish, just scrub on those a little bit more until the varnish takes hold. Look at how those darks come to life. Once the entire surface is covered, I'll brush it back and forth to make sure that I have a nice even coat. And after that, I will lay the painting flat in a dust-free place so it can dry. Now dust, lint, hair, they really show up in a dark painting, so be sure to pick out anything before the varnish dries. Varnish drying times vary with temperature and humidity but it should be ready to frame after a day or so. Remember, Gamvar is removable, so if you mess it up, don't worry. Just remove it with a lint-free cloth dipped in little mineral spirits or Gamsol, and try it again. Now, if you like this video or you want to see more of my work, please visit my website at scottruthman.com. You'll find paintings, blog posts, upcoming events, and if you want, you can sign up for my newsletter. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook, so I hope you find me there too.